Hi, this is Jesus Ramirez from Singularity Engineering. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the shared topology for improving your mesh. To explain how the shared topology option works in ANSYS, we are going to use three different cases to explain how this can be done. The first one is a case where the shared topology option is not enabled. The second and the third case are cases where the shared topology option are enabled. Nevertheless, different methods were used to enable the shared topology options. Let's see the first one. This is the geometry we are going to use. As you can see, this solid or this geometry is composed by two different solids. And both solids have an interface that is the one we have to, to pay in consideration for the shared topology options. In this case, no shared topology is, is enabled. Then we are going to see how this affects the mesh generation process. Let's see it. As you can see here, this is the geometry uh, we just see, we just saw in the in the space claim platform. Then now I have already generated the mesh. I use a multi sum method for this one, and we can see that visually the mesh looks uh, well. It is a it seems to be a, a good mesh. Nevertheless, if we see a, a section plane view, we can see that some uh, features. Mm, are representing the mesh. For example, you can see that the cells of this body do not align with the with the cells of this body. This can generate some accuracy and stability problems when the simulation runs. Then this must be avoided uh, as a best a best practice uh, when CFD simulation are performed. Let's see. Uh, the second case where the shared topology option is enabled and how the mesh change. Look at these points and see how it changed uh, when the shared topology option is enabled. Okay, I'm going to enter. Well, it's the same geometry. Uh, at this moment, I have already defined the, the shared topology option. How do you, do you know that? Uh, because there is a violet line that represents the that the interface between this solid and this solid is, is being done by a shared topology option. And how we can do it? You can go to the, to the workbench tab and Enable the share option. I'm going to unshare because I have already enabled it. So I'm going to unshare. I'm going to unshare this one. And as you can see, the violet line is not already in the solid. Then once you have your geometry with no share topology option enabled, you have to click here in the share option. And the region that is going to be shared is highlighted, is this one. Then if you agree, you click uh, complete. And now you have again the violet line, which represents that the shared topology option is enabled. Let's see how the shared topology option uh, modifies the, the mesh generation.
well I'm going to generate the mesh I ha I use the same the same multisum method then we can compare this mesh with the last mesh we, we see just before okay the mesh is complete then again uh, visually this seems like a, a good mesh but we want to, to see in the inside part how it was the mesh uh, changed by the shared topology option then you can see that now the cells of this body are aligned with the cells of this body and this is the kind of mesh we want to to have when two bodies are in contact are are, are sharing phases this allows us to have a, a smooth transition uh, among the mesh of this body with the mesh of the body even if the methods are different then this allows us to, to improve the mesh quality and also the accuracy of our simulation now we're going to see the third case that is a case where we have also the shared topology options enabled but with a different method then i'm going to enter to the geometry We have the same geometry and now as you can see both solids uh, were moved to a component this is the the way we can enable the shared topology options without using the the workbench tab then when the solids are inside a component there is a, a property box that allow us to, to enable the shared topology option you can see here in analysis the shared topology is by default is in, in the num in none but we can change it uh, to share and now we have the shared topology options enabled then we can return and machine again Okay, we have here our geometry. Now we have the mesh, the same multistem method. And if we see the mesh inside, then we can see that in this case also, the cells of this body are aligned with the cells of this body, which is a consequence of enable of the of half the shared topology options enabled. Well, uh, I think the information in how to enable the shared topology option, uh, how it influenced the, the mesh generation is clear. But if you have any question or any doubt, please contact us in Singularity Engineering. We can help you. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye bye.